The nationwide lockdown has been tough for everybody, including our pets. So with some extra free time, I decided to cheer up my dog Ollie a bit by building him an automatic tennis ball launcher. And this is how it was done. So the first thing I'm actually going to test is to see how well a launcher works by just using gravity. So you'll put the ball in the top, it'll roll down and come out the bottom. Ready boy? Boy. <laughs> that actually works pretty well. Go. Boy. So I guess this is the first prototype. Basically the simplest design possible. <laughs> After having not too much success with the first design, I decided to just move on. So I gathered some components and materials I had lying around, like an electric motor, Arduino microcontroller, and PVC pipe, and then all I needed to do is put them all together. Okay, so I've got everything set up. I've got a battery for it. I've got to control it to change the speed of the motor. And I've got a tennis ball. So I'm gonna try for the first time. And let's hope it works. Not too bad. With the motor working perfectly fine, it's time to program the Arduino with the launch sequence. Cool, it's the next day. Now what I'm doing is just checking if the programming I did yesterday actually works or not. And it seems like it doesn't. Very rarely when you're programming do you get things right the first time though. Okay, I think everything should be working now. So we just gotta connect it all back up. And now when the ball activates the switch, the motor should turn on, and then the server will drop the ball, and then once it's shut out, it'll all turn off. The next thing to do is just to install the servo and the switch on the pipe. So I've got all the electronics installed now. This is the little switch to trigger the whole thing, and then this is the servo is going to release and also hold the ball when it gets reloaded. Okay, so two things to fix. This thing is beeping incessantly and it's getting really annoying. And then this arm also isn't moving up enough for some reason. So I just need to fix those two things and then it should be working. And it actually seems to be working now. So I'm gonna do a few test runs and see how it does. Okay, I'm here with Ali. I've set up the ball thrower and now I'm gonna test if he can actually catch it and see how he reacts to it. Okay, so it's working pretty well, but there's a few changes I want to make. First thing is I want to rebuild this frame with this wood so I can make it a bit stronger and sturdier. And then I also want to trim this pipe here. Okay, so I've finished the first prototype. I've built this sturdier wooden base so that it's a bit stronger. 
And then I've also put this um, tray on top so that it's easier to drop the ball in. But let's see if this one actually works and if Ali can actually drop the ball in here. <laughs> So the last thing to do was to show Ali where to drop the ball and after about 30 minutes of trying he finally figured it out. So after all of that effort the tennis ball launcher was finally done and most important of all Ali seemed to love it. I know this design is pretty rough and doesn't look amazing, but I am planning a version 2. The second version is going to look way better, be able to shoot the ball about 10 times further, have two motors, maybe even Bluetooth or an app, we'll see. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you'd like to see part 2 or more videos in the future, then please consider subscribing.